Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about pie charts, which are also called circle graphs. A circle graph or pie chart uses a circle to represent categories of data by dividing the circle into sectors or wedges like pieces of pie. The sizes show the relative magnitude or size of the categories. The angle around the entire circle measures 360 degrees. For example, a category representing 20% of the whole should correspond to a sector whose central angle is 20% of 360, which you can calculate by multiplying the decimal form of 20%, 0.20, by 360 degrees, which gives you 72 degrees. So let's look at an example. A general estimate of Amy's monthly expenses are illustrated in the circle graph below. Clothing is 10% of her expenses, rent is 25%, food is 30%, and the rest is 35%. So we're going to take the decimal form of each percent and multiply it by 360 to determine the size of the angle that has to be drawn to represent each category. So for the clothing category, 10% is written as 0 0.10. Multiplied by 360 gives you 36 degrees. So the central angle swept out by the clothing category is 36 degrees. Next, we'll look at the rent. Rent is 25% or 0 0.25 times 360, which is going to give us 90 degrees. Next, we're going to look at the food category. 30% can be written as a decimal as 0 0.30. Notice how the decimal place is moved two places to the left when we write a percent as a decimal. That's because percent means per 100 or divided by 100. 0 0.30 times 360 is going to give us 108 degrees. And the remaining category of 35%, we multiply 0 0.35 times 360, which gives us 126 degrees. So if you have a question in your homework asking for the size of the central angle that needs to be used to represent a certain category on a pie chart, just multiply the decimal form of the percent by 360 to get the size of the angle. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.